Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, wherever it may be, and the people that make it. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Garage Honey and The Barfly Mutiny, the latest 10-song album by Room 6 alumni Annalita. I recently interviewed Kevin Diamond, the band's frontman. It was our second time chatting together, and we had a blast. I've put a link to that interview down below for you to check out when you're done here. You'll be glad you did. Now then, warm up those neck muscles and get ready to rock. That's it? You're gonna scream rock and roll. You're gonna go to jail for that. There's a saying, Milo. If it's too loud, you're too old. This video is brought to you by Selected Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. This act has been featured on the channel in multiple videos, and if you'd like to be like them, hit me up using my email address or by clicking the Room 6 social media link down below. That's also where you'll find all the things I'm up to online, ways you can support the channel should you so desire, like buying sweet merch at room6.shop, or just by using the all-important like, share, and subscribe buttons. It all helps, and I thank you. The album kicks off with the almost eponymously titled Garage Honey. Immediately kicking the door in with a sonic assault full of rage, the band wastes no time introducing themselves to the listener with a blend of technical uh, flavored metal. There's some nice call and response vocals that counterpoint nicely with some Dejent-like breakdowns as well as the judicious use of blast beats. Just as the groove gets good and thick, the tempo and timbre of the song changes into something more melodic that builds and immediately leads into the next song after lyrics like, It's the queen who calls the shots and the queendom will live on. Open market, build my hive anywhere, break my back for honey, the garage honey, bless you and the price you're willing to pay me. Track number two is No It Wasn't, which picks things back up after the tempo change at the end of the last song. Keeping the Sonic Assault theme going, this track has a lot in common with the first one. High energy and relentless, it's also an instant mosh pit builder before the equally intense breakdown. There's a startling moment as everything but the bass drops out for a few bars before a discordant riff drives the song forward. There's also some nice musical syncopation leading to a secondary breakdown. All of this helps to highlight lyrics like, Your respect is a joke. How can't you see your respect is a joke? Your breath stinks of lush and on your first days, it's nothing but dead-end love. You fixed yourself? Could you? I had it all planned. I wish you would. Aiding and abetting to commit nothing. Again flowing from one song to the next is the next track, known as Flawing. Opening up with some heavy synthesizer, things quickly jump off into a back and forth between spoken word and brutal metal vocals, creating a dystopian movie vibe that, for some reason, made me visualize the movie Judge Dredd. I knew you'd say that. There's not really a breakdown on this one, it's straightforward and to the point, and does a great job hammering home lyrics like Schizo to frantic to manic depressive, and let it hail destructive. I put my hand on my chest to feel my heart beat. With panic and patience, we wait out the cravings to hate it and love the feeling. I'm hoping that's a heartbeat. I'll forget your hate if you forget your flaws. Following that track is Black Friday, the longest song on the album. Immediately creating mosh pits seems to be the goal for this track, with more brutal guitar riffs and walking bass lines driving the song forward. There's also an unexpected and abrupt tone shift as a breakdown leads into a softer and more lyrical offering tinged with a little discordance. Just as we get lulled into a false sense of security, the hardcore comes crashing back in to round things out. This one's decidedly hardcore in its message too, with lyrics like, Shameless judgment is nothing but to preach to the choir. Defame, Christ is not my god. Christ is just a fraud, cause I'm him and I sin for kicks. Nobody writes songs about rock and roll anymore. Let them sin. Track number five is Superb Owl, the last song on side A of the vinyl form of this album. Keeping the theme of blistering yet technical math rock based metal going, this one features great use of musical starts and stops to increase the intensity. With sweeping and soaring guitar parts creating dynamic tension, this one smashes the point home with lyrics like, Superb and foul, folio du, and it's me and my tongue. I said it loud, I'll say it. Over the bridge and under the docks. I shouldn't have to meet you there. I barely know myself. I wear his worlds. He's calling to the streets. There's glass in my tongue. At least I can speak. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Hey, you. Do you like football? You like saving money? 
Well, you're in luck. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with SelectedTicket.com, and they're all in pricing. No added fees at checkout, no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of the Room 6 family, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next NFL game. Just enter coupon code NFL10 at checkout. Thanks to Select a Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Mind Eraser is next, the shortest song on the album. The drums and vocals sync up pretty quickly on this track, with staccato notes hitting fast and hard. This one is short and savage, with lyrics like, Booze-soaked wings still fly above them. Just brace yourself for a blur flight. Puke everything you land on my food. Barely standing up straight. Retching, hair pulled back tight. Probably happening in reverse order, Mind Eraser is followed by Mind Reader. Using a run of high-pitched discordant notes that run throughout, this song seems designed to jangle the listener's nerves a little while still being coherent and impactful. As the vocals are howled in an almost diatribe manner, this one also seems designed to be a call to arms with lyrics like, Innocence was never the case, and the pace that I strut is nothing but a tell-all book of my mind, and the pages are ripped out. All the pages are ripped out. Some say I'm starting to lose my mind, but I don't say it because I live in its casing. Coming up next is Backburned, keeping the thread going from the previous track. Maintaining the discordance that ran throughout the last song, things get a little heavier here with intermittent time changes and more stops and starts, and a slightly angrier edge to the vocals. As faces continue to be melted by this music, a careful listen to the story being told reveals a bit of introspection with lyrics like, I'm like a bastard unloved, desperate for my desperate times. I'm like dirt. I can help the world be dug up. I'm like a dog in heat. I'll be heard, helpless, and shamed. I'll behave. Track number nine is Mutiny, the penultimate song on the album. That means it's second to last, by the way. Beginning where Backburn left off with echoing and decaying siren notes ringing out, things suddenly shift into high gear with high energy guitar riffs and a driving bass line. Where the last tune was a bit introspective, this one is pure rebellion with lyrics like, there's no time for fear. I can see the gates from here. Sound the alarms. We're done now. I'm running towards my shadow, but I'll make an escape. I'm not running towards the gate. I've got away. I've dug a tunnel under the fence. I'm feeling free now. Finishing things off is actually the band's version of Nirvana's Something in the Way. Starting off a little like the original tune, things feel a little shoegazy here, with an ambient melody and atmospheric noise, making new listeners start to wonder, where is this one going? As the haunting, muted vocals start lulling us into a false sense of security, the hammer drops hard as everything crashes down, including the volume and intensity of the vocals. It's a unique take on a loved classic, and I think Nirvana would be proud. Overall, with each song seamlessly fusing the band's influences into a united sound, Garage Honey and the Barfly Mutiny by Annalita was clearly written to be enjoyed by metalheads and is guaranteed to give you a sore neck from headbanging while showcasing a depth of musicality not often seen in the genre. I'm so glad I got the chance to check it out, and I think you will be too. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll click the link down below to get your own copy of Garage Honey and the Barfly Mutiny by Annalita. It's a great album, we had a great time interviewing uh, Kevin, and I think you'll like it. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there, don't forget to ring the bell, and if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.